this is Re here. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It really helps me a lot. And don't forget to check out my website, paradoxastrology.com. I can help you with anything. If you like exclusive occult videos that I don't post on YouTube and would like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. Thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting this channel. Okay, let's get into this video. It's just a really quick one. This is just going to be a segue into my next video, which will talk about June because June is a very eventful month. And I just wanted to talk about a few things that will occur around May 30th. So I just wanted to put this a little bit out there and it may not occur on that exact day, but it's kind of leading up to all the events in June. So I feel that is very important. Now, May 30th, Venus enters Cancer. Venus is enemies with the moon. It's still in Pornavasu, which is ruled by Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is enemies with Venus. Venus is enemies with moon. So Jupiter does not feel comfortable at this time having its enemy enter its house. Pornavasu translates to good again, wealthy again, or visible infinity. So it's carrying all the qualities of prosperity and strength. Now, Jupiter is going to feel like these things are under attack during this time, especially because Jupiter is almost at an exact conjunction with Rahu. So Jupiter is losing a lot of its natural abilities to Rahu. Pornavasu is a quiver of arrows. That's what it represents. It basically represents the energy and the resources that we have on hand. It comes after Arara, the storm, and it's usually a renewal after the storm. It's also ruled by Aditi, which translates into unbound, and she is the goddess of abundance. This is also going to be in the Pada ruled by Moon, which is enemies of Venus as well, like I said. So we have a lot of enemies of Venus uh, during this time. Also, uh, this is the exaltation point of Jupiter. So Venus is not feeling comfortable and all these things have to do with wealth and also having Mars in Cancer, which is debilitated. So this could potentially cause a lot of financial issues starting from May 30th. And then as we go into June 2nd, Venus goes into Pusha Nakshatra, which is ruled by Saturn, which are friends, so it's fine. But there could be some events between May 30th and June 2nd that really have to do with finance. But still, once Venus goes into Pusha, it still won't be that great because it will affect us feeling safe and secure in our homes. Homelessness, problems with real estate, things like that. So I feel that the events that happen from May 30th to June 2nd, which will affect abundance and prosperity, then once June 2nd comes in, it can affect the homes of some. Especially because on May 30th, we have the exact conjunction that happens between Jupiter and Rahu, which could make some explosive events because Jupiter and Rahu will be in Ashwini. Ashwini is a new beginning. It's very spontaneous. It's highs, it's low. So there could be some drastic highs. It's not just lows, but there could definitely be some drastic lows. Ashwini has to do with any kind of business that's related, that requires a lot of initiative. It's automatically connected to any businesses on the material plane, anything with buying and selling goods interaction and exchange on many different levels and any unconscious motivations within those topics. So there's a potential to see a major crash in certain businesses. Having Mercury in Aries where it doesn't feel comfortable, this could also have to do with the market, finance, communication, marketing agencies, travel, things of that nature. But specifically, I see this being a problem for finance, especially because we're also dealing with Ketu, which is in Swati. And Swati is the businessman representing everything to do with business relationships. And this is a reason we're seeing a lot of companies collapse, a lot of companies having to let people go or hitting new lows, beer companies, clothing companies, all of this hitting new lows. So this could actually activate this even more. So just to be cautious of those things, June is going to be a very eventful month. So I just wanted to make this very short video about the things I see between the 30th and the 2nd. And I'll have another video on the 1st with exactly how the whole month will play out. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.